can Spooky seem to emit multiple frequencies simultaneously? We know of several manufacturers that state our generator produces eight frequencies simultaneously. Well, um, okay, the facts are the more frequencies that you produce simultaneously, the more that the power is spread um, across different areas. And so when their machine is a 300 watt carrier machine and two watts is going to the cancer frequency, which is what it is, when you do the maths, and then they're producing eight frequencies simultaneously, it's 0 .0, uh, 0.25 of a watt that's going to each frequency that's being targeted, uh, which is really not enough. And so um, that's, a, that's a, a real fast answer, but Spooky Central um, does actually produce multiple simultaneous frequencies. Uh, it can do it several ways. Uh, firstly, the plasma tube itself introduces uh, harmonic frequencies by the nature of the gas, the electrodes, the placements, the physical tube itself distorts the, the waveform, which introduces harmonics. Um, now, Spooky 2 can control many of the harmonics. Um, I'll be showing this to you later. You know, at the beginning, I was wondering whether I had enough information to talk about, and uh, it looks like I'm going to be running out of time. But I'll, I'll still show you Spooky. Uh, the software, I'll show you Spooky Central running and I'll show you how Spooky can control the harmonics. And the example I gave here is quite an important one. Now there's two known frequencies for cancer. There's the BX of 1.604 megahertz and the BY of 1.52952 megahertz. Now we can actually hit both of those at the same time. So we do this through sidebands we find the frequency that's exactly halfway between the two and we make that into a carrier. Now I've already hammered carriers and here I'm telling you to go and use one but that's the nature. <laughs> if you want to have both at the same time the best way is to use a center frequency, use it as a carrier and modulate the carrier um, with the frequency that's, that's uh, the distance between the frequency you want to hit and the center frequency. That frequency is 37.4 kilohertz. And so you set up a carrier frequency, you modulate it at 37.4 kilohertz, and then you'll be hitting both at the same time. Now, if you do have a, a machine with a fixed carrier frequency, the carrier is not generally adjustable. Well, it is adjustable, but over a very narrow range. And so it might be able to run between 1.8 megahertz and 3.4 uh, and 2.4 megahertz. And so it'll be no good for this example here. 